Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be going over the update of the open hardware flight controller that I was talking about in an earlier video that possibly not many of you have seen, but some of you have seen. Now, currently this is the current status, which is, um, I have the M the F4 flight control, the F405, the, uh, the microcontroller unit, 3.3 volt regular, MPU 6000 gyros, the LED status, and uh, just the power circuit here. So let's get started. Now, what's going on here? So right now I'm um, basically almost done with a super basic one i mean without an osd and um what i wanted to do is keep it simple so when i receive it when i have it you know done the pcb is complete and it's sent to me and i go ahead and test out everything make sure everything's working then i can go ahead and start applying the osd and everything however i do want to keep a basic skeleton with no osd and basically just a 3.3 volt regulator which provides power to the microcontroller unit because these take 3.3 volt regulators and in the first version it'll be powered from an external 5 volt power supply now also for the target for the beta flight target what i found best for me to use currently is the fury f4 osd version of the firmware so you can easily download that and i'm going based upon that for a couple reasons one is it has two versions it has one without an osd and one with an osd so once we start with adding the osd everything is here we don't have to redo all the pinouts and all the connections and i'll get into that later on this is just going to be very simple for us to start off with and also as you can tell here it can use you know you have your mp6000 6500 icm gyro so if we wanted to switch out the gyro we can easily do that and i'll get into that again in a later video once i do the, the complete playlist which would be like five minute long videos step by step now as you can tell here here's the furious uh, fury f4 osd version and as you can tell, it's using the Mac 7456 OSD chip. And here are the pins that it's going to be using on the microcontroller unit. For example, here we have PB12. And if we take a look here, we can easily find PB12. So obviously, this will be routed to one of the pins on the OSD chip, which is really nice. However, the OSD chip is going to make things a little more complicated here right now because it's going to have, it's going to need a crystal, it's going to need a couple other things. So we really, I don't want to get into that just yet. I want to start out basic and then we just add that OSD in a later step. So, you know, it, even though as we are doing this, you can also start getting an idea of if something burned, how to check if it's working or not through specific, uh, you know, regulator. So for example, if your microcontroller unit is not booting up, well, obviously microcontroller unit uses 3.3 volts. So if it's not receiving 3.3 volts, then it's dead. The 3.3 volt regulator is dead. However, if it's giving 3.3 volts and it's still not functioning and you checked its inputs, then the microcontroller is possibly burned. So it's going to do a lot. It's going to just give you a lot of information to get you started. Now, remember when I also said that with one click, it turns into a PCB and then it turns into a puzzle. Well, let me just show you that real quick. So you say convert to PCB and here's all the components that you currently need from the schematic. Here's the F4 flight controller, microcontroller unit, sorry, MPU 6000 gyro. The reset, the boot switch, it's too big, but I'm going to replace it later I'll just because I haven't gotten to the stage just yet. And here you can make, you know, the, the size of the PCB bigger and smaller. And I'll show you how to measure this. It's really easy. And here are the LED status. You put them where you want. You grab your resistor. So R1. So for example, here's R1. Which one's R1? R1 wasn't for a, so these are for R5. So R1 was used for something else that I forgot where it is. There it is. It's for the boot button, basically. So you kind of get an idea of how these things are working. And it's going to be very simple. That's why I wanted to keep it as basic as possible currently and a 5 volt regulator from an external source. Now, again, I'm using the MPU 6000 gyro in the first version. And I would like to also ask you if you guys can truly support the channel because I need all the spark possible to get to continue this project because it's going to be such a massive project uh, with all the playlists, with everything I need to think about this before executing everything. So I really need to study everything so I can come in and help you understand it as simple as possible. So uh, that is the whole you know, idea of this and I'm currently in the progress of it. So right now, as you can tell, many of you have been asking me, what's the current update? What's the current update? And here's the current update. So for example, just, you know, just some side information here. Um, let's just say you want, you didn't know which one is motor one output, which is really nice here. This is the type of things that you're also doing in the resource remapping when you go to the uh, uh, beta flight uh, CLI, comm uh, the command line, uh, the CLI basically, the CLI tab. This is the resource remapping you're actually doing. So if you take a look here, you see it says S out, S1 out. S1 out is signal one, which is also known as motor one. And if we just move back a little, we say, oh, PA3. What's PA3? We go back here. 
So this is actually motor one in this firmware. So this is what we would route and we would call motor one on the PCB. PA zero is LED. I forgot where I saw it, but it, oh, there it is. LED strip is PA zero. So this would be your LED. If you if you wanted to use RGB LEDs, you can route that to a pad. If you didn't want to, then you don't have to, which I'll show you in the playlist uh, once I finish the first prototype beta version. And here's the PPM input. I'll have everything very nicely labeled also once I'm complete here. And I also need some help on this right here. I don't know if this is the correct exact capacitor values to be used with this crystal. And uh, if anyone has some knowledge, please help me here because I kind of guesstimated. I don't know if this is correct or not, but it really doesn't matter in the schematic because once you receive it, it's all the same size. I just use a different rating capacitor on the board but this will be printed on the PCB. So if anyone knows, that would be absolutely phenomenal if you can help me with that. Now what's left to do here? Now I need to add the reset switch. I have the other uh, reset button. I already have the boot button. I'm gonna make this a little bit more simple so when I start the playlist, you can understand it better. Here's the crystal just so we can get the microcontroller unit to run at 32K. As you can tell, 32.758K, which is you know the speed when the PID loop and all these kinds of things. The MPU 6000 gyro, I have an error here on the initialized pin. This is the wrong one. I need to fix it so i need to double check it i do truly believe i have everything almost pretty correct uh it still needs work this is not a final stage at all this is just an update video i'm still actually working on it and um yeah i just wanted to just show you guys the current updates and the, the progress of it obviously all of this will be made public and um yeah it should be pretty good and i really want to see your comments down below those greatly support the channel not only that it just gives me motivation to continue and um just want to see your guys reaction because you know it just it, it's it means the world to me to be honest and um yeah that's that's currently it so for example here we have led1 led2 these are the led statuses that you see on most flight controllers now pb4 and pb5 it is what's programmed inside this targets list and later on you could customize this to as you please once you understand how these things work so if we go down here we see led zero and led one these are obviously for the status and programming everything starts with a zero and here they, they kept that so led zero and led one and the pb5 and pb4 and if we take a look here we have pb4 and pb5 and it's going to led one and it's going to led two However, the naming isn't as per like perfect over there. I think I've mixed them here, but it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, so if you, these are a little reference, so I don't make a really big mess in the schematic. And you just see here, it goes to LED one, resistor, LED, and then ground. And then again, that, that's coming for the microcontroller unit, LED, resistor, and because that just you know turns on the pin, sends 3.3 volts or whatever, goes through the resistor. So it limits the current because LEDs love to suck current until they kill themselves. They're actually suicidals suicidal so leds are suicidal just just to keep that in a, just a little side note if anyone didn't know that that's why you always add a resistor before the led um you can get away with it but then after a while it'll probably burn itself and, and die or immediately die so it depends on possibly the quality also so this is the current status and um i just wanted to really share that with you guys currently and um just to see what you guys think your comments actually do mean quite a lot and currently i'm still in the talks with uh uh jclb and pcbyc who can give us a better you know overall way to to have the contributors uh benefit and also have a nice way for the the people to order uh very simple maybe a, sp a special page on the side just for us you know because this is very huge you know because these flight controllers work on inav and um and beta flight and clean flight and some other things also it's very easy to be ported and then <clears throat> later on some people were telling me about the uh what is it called the apm or do pilot i think we can do that as well also i'll have to look into it but obviously one step at a time i don't want to get over my uh, get too far ahead right now and that is why i'm currently building the first basic version of this to have it tested and then uh once i test it here then i'll release the uh the official first beta which is just a basic flight controller skeleton and then from there once i release it obviously we're going to start seeing a lot of people adding all kinds of crazy cool things you know maybe even a special unique new osd that just pretty damn awesome better than the ones we're using i don't know but there's yeah again there's people out there that's going to be crazy different form factor you can change the pcb size I'll have both the source so you can actually go in and edit it you don't have to redo everything you click a link this actually opens the same way you see it and you can do whatever you want I'll also have the pcb in there the skeleton pcb layout so you can even uh, modify that later on to as you please maybe remove a couple pads maybe you didn't want ppm in um so so yeah that's 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 how it that's how it really goes i mean it's, it's pretty simple here um what do i need to do now what what's left for me to do to have the pcb done here 
Uh, what I need to do is add a, obviously I need to just route all the motor out, motor pads or just label basically the motors. And I need to fix this issue here. Uh, this, I need to figure out where this goes for the MP6000 gyro. And, um, I also need to put a, what is it called? Um, oh my goodness. An inverter for the S bus input. So I'm using S bus. So I'm going to have to put an inverter here. So I'll put a little inverter for one of the pins that are going in probably you are two or you are one i don't know i'll figure that out later and um it's it should be basically done in the reset switch we don't really need to reset but i want to add it just in case if there's any issues i could just always quickly reset it and um yeah i think that's currently it it's yeah th i think that that's that's currently it right now so i'm pretty much basically almost done i'm gonna try to have a prototype in my hand within a week so if i finish this today or finish it tomorrow uh, then I talk, then I, I have it done somewhere, PCB way or JLCB. And then from there, I, uh, I go ahead and see what's the next step. So, um, yeah, should be pretty interesting. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Again, guys, any support can go an absolute long way because I will be making these into a very detailed, uh, short episode, long playlist. So you can find the exact information that you need quickly and efficiently without having to spend so much time watching a video just for one little piece of information. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.